set up the breakout rooms in Google Meet before your lesson has even started. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, before we get started, breakout rooms is part of the Google Workspace for Education Premium Edition. So we're talking about the Teaching and Learning Edition. We're talking about the Workspace Plus Edition. If you are using the free version of Google Workspace, you will not have access to the breakout rooms. But when you do have access to the breakout rooms, we all know that this can take a little bit of time to get them all up and running during your lesson. Well, using Google Calendar, we can save time, set them up before our lesson starts, and then simply send our students into those breakout rooms. So let's jump onto the computer and see how this is done. Here on my calendar, let's go ahead and create an event, add a meeting, and then set up those breakout rooms. So we're going to click on the plus icon. Here, I'm going to add a demo breakout event and then we're going to add video conferencing as well. So as soon as I click on add Google Meet video conferencing, this will add a Google Meet room attached to this event. This is how you can schedule your Google Meets before they take place. Next, we're going to click on this cogwheel and this will open up the video meeting settings. Here I have my host controls and I also have my breakout rooms and here I can now prepare those breakout rooms. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to create three rooms there we go. And I'm going to call these, the first one will be brainstorm. The other will be prototype. And then the last one will be reflection. There we go. We're going to click on save and everything is good to go. We're going to save this event and then I'm going to jump in and see if those breakout rooms are activated. So we're going to click on save. The event is saved and now we can open up this meeting. So let's go ahead and join Google Meet. We're going to make sure that our camera is on, microphone off, and we're going to join the meeting. I'm in the meeting now. This is just like a regular classroom that I'm holding online, and I'm going to check my breakout rooms. So let's go to activities, breakout rooms. And as you can see, my breakout rooms have already been prepared. I have my brainstorm room, prototype, and reflection. Now you can manually add your students to the correct room. Now let's say that you want to already assign them a room before the meeting has even started. Well, we have to go back to Google Calendar for that. In Google Calendar, we're now going to go back into our options, edit the event, and the first thing we'll have to do is invite our guests. So let's go ahead and invite a demo account. Here we go, we've now invited two members and we can assign these to their breakout rooms. So let's go back to the conference settings and let's already send our first demo teacher into the brainstorm. Let's send our second one into prototype and I will stay in the main call. Let's go ahead and save this. And then here you can automatically assign them to those rooms. Now I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to scroll down into that comment section below. Now if you wanna find out more about the different Google Workspace editions and what sort of changes and additional features there are, you can click on this video to watch next. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.